This is the NFL, and we are live from beautiful State of America Stadium in Chuckett, South Carolina. The Carolina Panthers are warming up their last week's kill on their sidelines barbecue pits as part of their pregame ritual. My pregame ritual is a lot different, Grim. It usually involves filling out accident reports and telling the paramedics what I may have ingested in the last 24 hours that could have caused projectile vomiting and projectile diarrhea while flying down the staircase or an elevator shaft, depending on the stadium. That's a... The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Hexon Oilers take on the Carolina Panzers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV oh, and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there, but other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Hunt. Hunt one. Hey. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. <laughs> Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, with the punishing hit. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Check. Ain't nothing worse than wasting a good explosive. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hey man, 
see that. That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. It's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Anyone in the mood for mutant tartar? Second down and six. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. Third down and long. a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a thought being snags. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, three. Still oh, no, it's a sticky ball and dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. I love this job. Second down in a lot. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. 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 And they needed that big run right there, Bricks. They sure fucking did, Grim. They sure fucking did. Third down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Well, the quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. He is fighting for every off, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hey. And this game is up for grabs.
Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot Roid Rage, how do you like your brain? Scrambled or fried? He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. Hot one, hot two. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick. Since when is that a penalty? Huh? Since now, I guess, Grim. And the punter takes a defense, says enough of this BS, and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Second down and look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Second down and seven. And like a monkey truck. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Second down and seven. Warming up. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And they'll line up for the punt here. He booked, and that's why they call it the money shot. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. And a dog thing snags. If that hit didn't quibble him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Hot one. This is your brain, and this is your... And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. A good 
goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. New set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! I'm a Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like, oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and nine. Oh, with the brutal hit. First and ten. Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just wet. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? Oh, with the brain scrambler! And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down in a lot. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Third down and long. wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You gotta use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. the ball to the player behind him. Oh, with a brutal hit. First and two. And he runs into the end zone for a 
touchdown. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. The defense called a one speed dirty trick. Man, look at him go! First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, and that's what they call the money shot. It's a touchdown! Take all you mutants out. That's right. Yeah. You want? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> the second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. Welcome back to the start of the second half. It's a close game and should be a battle to the end. The teams line up for the kickoff. And my second half buzz is just kicking in right on time. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! for a second there. Second down and 10. And the defense jumps outside, trying to mutilate the QB. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. First and ten. And the ball. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. And 
And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if there is, but he sure has a good set of hands. First and eight to go. Second down and more than the QB would like. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys going to take this? Second down, and we've got a... And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and ain't gonna happen, partner. Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the charge parts. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on MFL Game Day. Uh, MFL isn't episodic. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. And the bomb goes off, hurting no one. Yeah, the bomb don't kill anyone. Does it still make a sound? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Just got crushed. And that'll bring up second and one. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Ben. Third down and six. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. That's a 
killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for you. You know what? Never mind. First and ten. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but this is different. <laughs> Trust me, very different. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. First and four. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. They want more points, so they're going for two. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Briggs. Yes, man. The QB turned the defense into an abject mess. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. because no one can catch this guy. Look, he broke free and has open field in front of him. He did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the 
the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Red ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That'd be fantastic. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. First down and five. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out When the Huskies Go, Don't You Eat That Yellow Snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Second down in a very lot. And he throws that one to the sidelines. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First down and five.
this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. <laughs> and it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and five. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third down and five. be a first down you know bricks a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf huh and it's first and ten that's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Man, can I kill him? Third down. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. down. The QB needs to stop kissing his linemen and get back to the line of scrimmage. And it's first. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost power and green, like a haiku! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. 
Yeah, she called that rabbit shit. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. We're deadlocked with a tie score at the end of the fourth, and that can mean only one thing. Stay tuned, because what the hell could be more important right now? Well, now that you mention it, Grim, I really need to hit the can. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Here comes the kickoff. And it's first and ten. Blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. warming up oh hello and that was a bone crusher right there folks unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well maybe actually shouldn't discuss this and he's got a chance for a good return here and he just wrestles away oh what a great defensive play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pair grin you're right a boat all grim nope well i have on several occasions not surprising multiple times on each occasion not surprising and trust me that hit was worse and the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback down and long and that's the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back Nice punt! 
Should move him back. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for steak tartare? Second down and two. He had it for a second there. Third and two. Nicely done for a first down. First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and seven. That's a six yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. And he runs it in for the touchdown. The Panzers roll over the opposition and chuck up a win. Man, they tend to be like Poland at 39. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a defeated team should get a participation award because, hell, they tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Hey yeah, man, I was hanging on the now. You know what I Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.